Hi YouTube, it's I, Sweet Potato Pie, um, coming to you from um, our guest bedroom. I stopped to pick up some uh, organic root stimulator, smooth and whole pudding, olive oil, um, smooth and whole pudding from the hair store back when I first became natural and I thought I would review it for you today because I couldn't find a video out there on this stuff. It cost me $5.49 for 13 ounces. I'm really excited um, and I hope it'll work as good as um, the IC Fantasia gel that I've been using as far as hold goes. As you see right now, my hair is pretty wet and I have a lot of globs of this stuff in my hair that I haven't smoothed out. But I'm really excited to see if it will hold my hair as well as um, give it some moisture. It, uh, it's the consistency of a relaxer, a no eye relaxer. Uh, if you turn this upside down, it's going to glop out. Um, actually, it's spilled in my drawer, in my hair drawer that I keep all my products in. Um, so I've been kind of scooping it out and putting it in my hair so I don't waste any. But um, it says moisturizing gel moisturizes, shines, and holds. Um, it's supposed to hold the hair, be a non-sticky pudding, leaves a smooth and shiny hole while moisturizing the hair. Same thing it says on the bag. It says an alcohol-free formula uh, at the top, but if you look at the ingredients, it has a lot of oils, the sweet almond oil, avocado oil, coconut oil. It also has mineral oil, but it also says alcohol. So you might want to look out for that if you don't like putting alcohol-based products in your hair. Um, I just washed my hair. Uh, well, not fully wash my hair. I could just condition my hair. I don't know if you call that a co-wash or a no poo, whatever the term is that you guys use out there. But um, I just use conditioner in my hair and uh, my dim and brush, detangled, massage my scalp and rinsed it out. And I put some of this in my hair and I'm going to go, it's Father's Day, so I'm going to go and visit my dad for the day. And then I'm going to see throughout the day if this does its trick. I'm probably touching my hair a little a little bit too much um, but I haven't smoothed it all through right now um, I'm not sure what texture I am uh, my hair has grown into this shape I don't have a haircut uh, per se um, I did dye the I did dye the top as you saw in the last video if you watched the last video I did dye the top and um, it's a kind of a reddish color but I'm not sure um, exactly what color it is I like it, but it's a little brassy for me, so I'm going to go over with the rinse. And um, the bag is still the regular color, but um, I think I'm going to probably either spray my hair or rinse my hair and try some of this stuff um, and see if it holds. And I'll see if it defines a little better um, than the kinky curly curling custard. And I haven't tried the Miss Jessie's um, because the Kinky Curly really hit my wallet. And I know Miss Jessie's is at Target now. But I want to try this first. And um, I'm guessing it's like the Baby Buttercream. But it doesn't smell very good. It smells like, um, I want to say a lotion or perfume. It's got a perfumey scent. And I'm really into like natural scents. Vanilla, strawberry, cherry, um sandal anything that is really um, natural is, is what I like so this this is kind of a turn off for me but it's not a strong scent to where you're gonna turn your hair turn your head and smell it so that's a good thing but um it's kind of oily greasy but not really it's not to where you you just rub your hand on your head and go ew like um, a heavy oil but uh, it is more it, it does moisturize and I tried it yesterday on a frohawk, and it didn't hold, didn't hold my hair at all. I had to use my um, Echo Styler gel to hold the sides up um, after I waited about an hour for it to dry with pins in it. Um, I still got a lot of kink going on and no smoothness behind this stuff. So um, here's the label in case you're wondering exactly what product this is and you want to try it out yourself. I will take a picture throughout the day and let you know how my hair turned out and I'll tack it on to the end of this video. I got two months to my six month anniversary and I'm definitely looking forward to the second leg of um, my journey. And I thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for your inspiration and um, have a good Father's Day. Bye.